Hi, I'm Summer Fun Fitness. Welcome to my workout video. Today I've designed a follow along video to help you gain the strength to do a controlled handstand. In order to do that, we're gonna have to cover some basics. We're gonna have to talk about how to do a handstand and some key points that I want you to keep in mind throughout this workout. So the first point is that I don't want you to fall. I want you to actually land softly. Lots of people when learning how to do a handstand will just jump up and flop over. I don't want you to do that because that's not helping you gain any core strength to properly hold the handstand. So instead, what I want you to do is put your hands down and just bring your feet off the ground a little bit and use your core to land softly. I don't want to hear a big thud every single time. So just start by lifting your feet a little bit off the ground and go higher and higher as long as you're controlling your downward movement. So the whole workout, land softly. The second is I really want you to think about your muscle engagement. I want you to actively engage all parts of your body, which I'm going to cover in the how to do a handstand part. And the third part is that this workout is not designed for reps. Instead, I actually just want you to do the workout with proper form for as many reps as you can do. So if I'm going to do 10 reps of something and you can only do two of those properly, I want you just to do the two. Now I'm going to cover the basics of how to do a handstand. So I don't want you to just put your hands down and kick up like I said before. What we actually do is start in our fingertips. Instinctively, you'll just put your hands down and put all the weight in your palm. That's not what we actually want to do. What we want to do is grip the ground with our fingers. So what we would do is put your hand on the ground first and bend your knuckles and clench the ground as much as you can. This does take some finger flexibility, but it will come with time. So don't think about putting all the weight on the bottom of your hand. Instead, it's all in your fingers. This provides a sort of lever to help keep you balanced. So the next thing is that you need proper alignment. So what we do is we stack our wrists and our shoulders. Instinctively, you'll usually put your hands out here because it uses more muscle, but that's not gonna help you hold your handstand. So even though this is a little bit uncomfortable, what I want you to do is put your hands up, grip the ground, and stack your wrists over your shoulder. Does that make sense? So the next part from here to here is that we actually need to create compression inside our arms. So we actually wanna think about squeezing our ears. Your arms might not be able to go as close to your ears as mine, but I still want you to actively compress in between your arms. So now we have our fingers gripping the ground, the compression here and the alignment from our shoulders to our wrists. That brings us to our core. You have to engage your core in order to hold this properly. So how to engage your core? Um, is by tilting your pelvis and clenching your abs. It will come with a bit of time. It might not work for you right away, but I want you to think about, this is standing regular. So I want you to think about tilting your pelvis and using your abs. So that's how you should be doing it in the handstand. So that brings us down to our butt. We actually need to clench your butt in order for that to happen. So think about squeezing that. And then next we come down to our legs. Lots of times you'll want to open up your legs to find balance. But what I actually want you to do is think about squeezing in between your thighs. So you actually turn in a little bit and squeeze there and bring that all the way down to your feet. So we're trying to create this tight um, alignment in our body like a straight pencil. Okay, so that brings us on to our workout. We're gonna start with some dynamic stretching, do the workout and then end with some static stretching. So we're creating all the balance and mobility needed to do a handstand. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our dynamic stretching. So we're gonna do arm circles. We're gonna do them really big and loose at the start in one direction. Okay, we're gonna go the other way. Okay, so we're gonna go forward again, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna squeeze, we're gonna compress our ears, and we're gonna try and dive down. Change your hands and dive down. So we're pulling our shoulders. So think about compressing through your arms. Just do one backwards. This one won't be able to be as close together. Okay, next we're gonna start with 
uh, warming up our hips. So you can use a wall, you can hold on to something. I'm just gonna stand here. New 10. It's okay if your hip kind of clicks here. We're trying to get it warm, so hopefully it won't do that the whole time. And go the other way. Okay, we're gonna do the other leg. Try and really open that. Keep this leg straight. Keep your core tight. And the other way. Okay, so next we're gonna interlace our fingers and push out from our shoulders. We're gonna go into a side lunge. What we're gonna do is look forward and try and continue to look forward so we find our balance. We're trying to stay as low as we can. And we're gonna do it for 10. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do five more, just a little bit of a harder version. You can try and put your hands down or you can try and do the harder version with me. I'm gonna sit down, take the weight off and come up. One, down, two, down, down, four, down, five, and down, and six. Okay, so now we're gonna spread our legs in a line, fairly wide. We're gonna bend down, and we're just gonna bend, shake it out a little bit here. Let your head hang. Okay, so next I want you to take your opposite hand to your opposite foot, open up, really press through your arm. One, swing down as low as you can to trade to the other side. Again. Again. Okay, so next we're gonna go into our downward dog, placing our feet shoulder width apart, putting our hands down. So first we're gonna start with looking forward and pressing back. We're gonna grip the ground with our fingers like we do in our handstand, and we're gonna press, looking forward. Next, we're gonna bend our knees and straighten them and press, trying to get our chest closest to our legs. Bend our knees again. Press. Try and wiggle it out a little bit. Do whatever feels comfortable here. You can bend the knee. Bend the other knee. Just move around and get your body all warm. Whatever feels good for you. Okay. Next, we're gonna warm up our wrists. So we're gonna come to sitting. We're gonna do some wrist circles. Do some the other way. We want, our next thing we're gonna do is make a fist. And we're gonna flick out. We're trying to get our fingers warm for gripping the ground. So you actually wanna try and make a noise. For 10, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Do some more wrist circles there. Okay, next I want you to put your hands on the ground, keeping your palms down and rock from one side to the other. Okay, 
now try and do the same thing, but take your palms off the ground. Just kind of a small movement here, but it's really helping us gain some finger flexibility, and giving you all the warm. Spin them the other way, and try and sit back, keeping the backs of your hands on the ground. Okay, so our first warm-up exercise is push-up. We're going to do five wide, five with our elbows tucked back to get our tricep, and five in a diamond. And then we're going to go into shoulder shrugs. What I want you to do when you do your push-up is think about doing your handstand component, so squeezing with your fingers, aligning your shoulder under your wrist, and using your core. So I don't want you to be like this. I actually want you to tuck your core, squeeze your butt, so it's all properly engaged. Okay, so we're going to start with five wide. Let's do it. Bring them in tight for your triceps. And then really tight to a diamond for another five. Okay, next we're going to come into our shoulder shrugs. This can help us figure out how to use our shoulders properly for our handstand. So stack your wrists, grip the ground, try and keep your arms straight, compressing in between your elbows, and bend down, and push up as high as you can go for 10. Remember to grip through your fingers. Keeping those arms straight. I don't want you to bend your elbows. Okay, shake out the wrist a little bit and let's go back into our push ups. So we're starting with five wide. The more you lean forward in your push up, the harder it's going to be. So if you're back here, it's going to be easier. If you're up here, it's going to be harder. So let's go. Coming in closer for our triceps. And last, our diamonds. Okay. And again, into our shoulder shrugs for 10. So this time you can go in your full push-up if you'd like to. So you just bend down and push up as high as you can. This one might take some getting used to. It's a small but important movement in your handstand. Okay, I hope you're feeling nice and warm. That was hard. Okay, next we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises uh, for warming up, and it's, it has a couple different names. It can be called crocodile crawl. In general, it's a crawl. So we're gonna start from as far back as we can, and we're gonna do this for two minutes. I'm gonna do it backwards, but you can just stand up, turn around, and do it forwards. Whatever works better for the space you're in. And we're gonna do two minutes. Ready? So you want to stay as low to the ground as you can. It'll take some practice. Kind of feels like you're Spider-Man. And I would say going backwards is definitely difficult. Remember to try and stay low. Twenty more seconds.
three more seconds, get one more in. And we're done. Take a little breather. Okay. Our next exercise is push up to side star. There's two different versions you can do. I'll show you the beginner one first. So we're gonna push up, and then you can stack your feet and open up here, trying to find a nice straight line here, gripping through your fingers, not just on your palm, or the more advanced one would be to lift your leg up. And we're gonna do that 10 times on either side, or however many you can do properly. Ready? Remember gripping through your fingers. And one more. And come down, open up your knees, and just kind of stretch it out a little bit. Catch your breath. Okay, so we're on to our first exercise. We're gonna keep in mind all of our handstand components, starting in a push-up, gripping with our fingers. We're gonna bend back, jump forward to land softly. We're gonna secure our feet. We're gonna clench our butt. We're gonna stand up, compressing through our arms, squeezing those ears up to our squat, keeping those arms up. We're gonna bend back down, plant our hands as close to our feet as possible, grip the ground, lean forward, go back into your push-up, landing softly. We're going to do that 10 times. Squeezing on your way up and down. Landing softly. Plant those hands, look forward to make sure you land softly in your push-up. Really squeezing your butt at the top. Still squeezing those ears. And I think that's 10. We'll do one more for good measure. And then we'll sit back and stretch it out again. So now we're going to go into a core building exercise. So we'll work out, we're going to do something on our wrist and then we're going to do core to see if our wrists are break. So what we're going to do is straighten our legs, keeping them tight, engaging the muscles as much as possible, pressing through the floor. You don't want them loose. You want to press through the floor, put your hands on your thigh and you're going to crunch up. It's a small movement, but try and engage throughout your whole body keeping your legs really close to the ground. You're gonna do 25. Really weighing those feet down. Try and touch the tops of your knees without using too much momentum. Halfway there. Point those toes, keep those quads engaged. Let's do four more. 
two, hold to the top, three, four, and rest. Okay, so we're gonna do some handstand wall walks. We're gonna remember all the components of our handstand, gripping through our fingers, keeping our wrists stacked. We're gonna move hand and then foot, hand and then foot. Let's go, starting with foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot. Hand. And you might have to jiggle a little bit here. Hold your handstand for a sec. Look forward, grip through your fingers, put a foot on the wall. Hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot. And don't go all the way down. I want you to stop in a plank, gripping three fingers. Look forward and hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go again, bend through your knees, move a foot, move a hand, and so on. Your wrists are probably feeling this now. We're just gonna hold it again in our plank for 10, nine, look forward, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, shake out your shoulders or your wrists or whatever feels good for you. So we're gonna do that again. Catch your breath. Okay, and remember, grip through your fingers, keeping your pelvis tucked. Get close to your wall. Stack your wrist under your shoulders. Foot on the wall, let's go. Keeping our core tight until we reach our hands down and then come back down. And hold in our plank. The higher your feet are, the easier it is. And last one, bending up the knees and going up. And back down. Okay, hold in our plank. I'm getting tired, so I hope you are too. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Shake out the wrist, go grab some water. Okay, so next we're gonna give our wrists a break. We're gonna work on our core. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on our sit bones. So pull your butt out, make sure you're balanced there. And you can use your hands if you're a beginner, put your hands up really high if you're advanced, or put them here if you're intermediate. We're gonna do 25. Try and sit up tall. Still squeezing your ears with your arms if your hands are up. Squeezing those thighs together. I lost track. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's hold it there, straighten those legs, 
Sit up nice and tall, squeezing everything together. Just hold it. Let's hold it for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Come on, you can do it. 3, 2, 1, and break. Stretch out those hips a little bit. And let's do that one again. So you can put your hands up here or behind you. I think I'm going to do behind me this time. New 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Keeping your chest up. Five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out for a second, then we're gonna do the hold. Okay. Let's hold for 15, squeezing those legs together, sitting upright. Let's go. Sit up taller. Use that core. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, so we're on to our next handstand building exercise. This means it's gonna use our whole body. We're gonna squeeze everywhere. We're gonna grip through our fingers. We're gonna walk out as far as we can. We're gonna hold it for one breath as low down as you can go. You're gonna look forward, gripping through your fingers. Walk your feet forward. Try to keep all the weight forward, looking forward. No weight in your toes. Hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. Plant your feet, turn around, or if you're in a big enough space, keep going. I'm gonna do eight of these. Walking out. Transferring all the way forward onto your shoulders. No weight on your toes, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Plant your feet, catch your breath, and go the other way. Remember to look forward, transferring that weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Plant it and turn around. If your feet aren't as close to your hands as mine, that's okay, we'll get there one day. I have no idea how many I've done. I know you're getting tired, but still try and keep all the weight forward. And turn around. Gripping through your fingers, squeezing through your elbows. Hold. Let's do one last one. I lost track. <laughs> How low can you go on this one? Walking forward, leaning forward, straight arms. Gripping through your fingers, hold, hold. Look forward, lean forward. And release. I think it's time for a break. Try and shake out your wrist a little bit. Let's breathe. we're on to our next core building exercise. This one specifically would help with our handstand straddles one day. So we're gonna put our hands here, we're gonna go for 25 and pick up that foot. Bring your hands closer to make it easier, bring them closer to your foot to make it harder. We're gonna do 25, let's go.
Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Switch over to the other leg. Let's go. And 25, now we're gonna do the center. So you kind of lean forward, pick up your legs. You can eventually lean back, but to get up, go forward, pick those legs up for 25. If this isn't working for you, try to put your hands behind you. Push through, brings your legs a little bit closer together, make it a little bit easier on our hips. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, take a little stretch there, and then we're gonna do it with our legs together. Planting your hands, try and pick your legs up. Go two, three, four, five, six, squeeze the legs together, and keep going. If it's too easy, bring your hands closer to your feet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. We'll run through that one more time, shortening the reps down to 15. So, do one leg first, and let's do 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Other leg. One, two, three, four. And center. And together. Come on, you can do it. Squeeze those thighs together. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Whew. On to our next handstand exercise. So, we're gonna keep in mind all those basics of the handstand that we learned. Planting our hands below our shoulders. Gripping, we are gonna kick up for 10 with our knees tucked. Landing softly is the most important part here. So lean forward, grip through the fingers, and up, and land soft. Keep compressing through those arms. Take a little shake out and then we're gonna kick one leg. Landing softly, most important part, not the height. Let's go. Gripping through those fingers, straight arms. Landing soft, if you can't do this, go back to the little tucks. Try and keep your hips even. Last one, and down. Shake out your wrists, and let's do the other side. The other side is definitely a little bit harder for coordination's sake. Let's try anyways. Slowing down by engaging your core. Looking forward, gripping with your fingers. Slowing down. Your descent. One last one. And down slowly. Let's shake out those wrists again. And drink water.
Okay, so we're on another core building exercise where we give our wrists a break. We are gonna do boat holds. So we're gonna come down just onto our lower back, holding up, squeezing our legs like we squeeze them in our handstand, and we're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. If this is too easy, you can put your arms up. I'm gonna hold my hands here. Squeezing everything together, including your arms. Your core, your pelvis is tilted up. We're gonna hold it for 10 more seconds. Breathing. And release. We're gonna do scissor kicks. Changing when I tell you to change. If you wanna make it harder, you can put your hands up. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We're gonna go back into our boat holds for another 20 seconds. Let's go. Keeping your core engaged, squeezing your thighs together, pointing your toes, trying to lift yourself up, and breathing. And drop, we'll go back into our scissor kicks. The more you can bring your shoulders off the ground, the harder it's gonna be, squeezing those arms, squeezing those legs for 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, come on, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. Take a rest there. Tucking your feet in as close to your butt as you can. I'm gonna do some side squiggles. So you're gonna bend, keeping your shoulder along the ground as much as you can to touch the side of your toe, dragging your back, your shoulders along the ground for 25. Really clenching when you're touching your foot or coming close to touching your fit, foot. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, so we're on to our last exercise. We're gonna go into a downward dog, placing our hands on our shoulders, our feet shoulder width apart. We are going to look forward, drop down to your forearms, squeezing through the fingers, see, gripping with the fingers. We're gonna lean forward, stacking the weight onto our wrists, hold halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, push up. Go back down, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Push up. Go back down, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Push up. And again, five, four, three, two, one. Push up. Let's do it again. Five, four, three, two, one. Push up. Go back into our downward dog. Grab our forearms. Snake forward into that halfway. Now we're gonna drop back onto our forearms, up again into our push up and downward dog. Do that again, look forward, drop your forearms, snake forward, drop back onto your forearms, back up to your push up, downward dog. Let's do that two more times. Looking forward, drop those forearms, snake forward. Go back onto your forearms again, push up, downward dog. Keep gripping the ground. And last time, drop your forearms. Go forward. Drop your forearms again. Push up into your downward dog. And let's drop to our forearms in our downward dog position and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Back up. 
Let's do it again. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Push into your fingers, back up. Two more times. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. One more time, make sure you're gripping with your fingers. Five, four, three, two, one. And come to stand, or come place your, I don't know. <laughs> Hang there for a second. And we'll move into our static stretching portion. Okay, so I got out my yoga mat just to make stretching on the hard floor a little bit easier. So feel free to grab yours if you want it. We're just gonna work on static stretching and static stretching just means holding the position. This is as opposed, as opposed to dynamic stretching that we did at the start, which really warmed up our joints. So this one, our goal is to actually get our feet or our knees all the way to the ground. I'm gonna hold under my feet and I'm gonna straighten my lower back. So I'm gonna pull up. Stretch out your neck here a little bit. I'm gonna hold this. Keep trying to extend instead of hunching. Okay, let's lean forward on this one a little bit, keeping your feet, put your hands forward, tuck your head, and hang out a little bit. Take some deep breaths so you can deepen your stretch, pulling oxygen to your muscles. So your hips might be a little bit upset there, so let's do a little bit mobility, planting your foot here. Let's twist to the side. Twist to the other side. Okay, now we're gonna go into pigeon pose. Extending our legs straight behind us, planting our hands, straightening our back, pulling it out from our shoulders. Imagine a string being on the top of your head, attached to the ceiling, so it's pulling you straight up. And let's hold that. Engaging through your leg, you don't want to drop. We're pushing this down. And breathing. If you want to make this harder, you can bring this foot more parallel with your body. Keep pressing down through there, straightening your spine. Okay, let's drop forward, keeping your hips in a line, and just hang out down here. You can untuck your chin if you want to get a little bit of a neck stretch. Let's come up and do the other side. So remember that we're sitting tall here. Trying to lengthen our spine, trying to push this down, and breathing deeply. Try to breathe into the places in your body that you feel tension to allow them to release. Walk those hands forward and just relax down. Try to keep your hips even.
Walking your hands up, let's try and get a little bit of our back stretched out. Coming down onto our chest, looking forward. Let's put that foot over to the other side. You can drop your head to look in the opposite direction of that foot. You can grab that foot if you want to, pressing through the hand, creating tension there. And let's switch and do the other side. So next, let's tuck that shoulder underneath. And do the other side. Next is come onto our backs. Let's take opposite hand to opposite knee, pulling that down to the side, keeping her shoulder shoulders on the ground. Keeping your shoulders connected with the floor is more important than getting that knee to the ground. Trying to find that spinal twist. Bring the knees together and let's do the other side. Remembering to keep that shoulder on the ground. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this fall long workout and information on how to do a handstand. If you did enjoy it, please leave me a comment below so I can know so I <laughs> please leave me a comment below so I can make more videos and make adjustments to make the videos better for you. Again, my name is Summer Fun Fitness. Thanks for watching.